Hiya, I'm Leah and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my CSF Leap journey so far. Life now hardly resembles what it used to. As a very busy mum with four home educated children, we spent a lot of our time out of the house. Life really was full to the brim and I absolutely loved it. Last year though, everything changed. Early February, I started having concerning symptoms and was in and out of my local a and &E. And by the 22nd of March, when a doctor performed a diagnostic lumbar puncture, I'd been an inpatient for just over a week. This lumbar puncture is what changed mine and my family's life. The morning after the lumbar puncture, I got up and was hit with the most awful headache. It wasn't like any headache I'd experienced before. My left ear also felt like it had water trapped inside of it. And the only thing that seemed to help was to lie completely flat in bed. The ward sister asked if I wear glasses and told me I just needed to put them on, but I knew something wasn't right. They eventually agreed to call a doctor who suggested that the hole from the lumbar puncture hadn't actually closed and I was experiencing something called a spinal headache. She said it could take anything up to two weeks to get back to normal and three days later I was discharged to recover at home. At home, I continued to be flat in bed 24 hours a day. I couldn't even tolerate a pillow. Everything was getting worse when it was supposed to be getting better. Aside from the headaches, I was having lots of other horrible symptoms, including dizziness, almost constant tinnitus, ear pain and pressure and popping, um, numbness in my face, pressure across the bridge of my nose, and sometimes my head felt too heavy for my neck to support. At week two, I found the UK Leak Support Group and was advised by the members there to get back to the hospital and ask for a procedure called a blood patch. I felt quite hesitant as my last experience in there wasn't all that pleasant. But two days later, the choice was taken out of my hands and I, and I was taken back to my local A&E by ambulance. My symptoms had worsened and now every time I tried to sit up, my body would actually rock side to side like a pendulum. The A&E doctor again confirmed the CSF leak, but now instead of two weeks, I was being told it could take up to eight weeks to heal. He told me I wasn't in any danger and I just needed to be patient. He advised it was too late for the blood patch and was adamant I was to go home, but I was really scared and even more adamant I couldn't as I didn't feel safe. I was begrudgingly kept in and told I would not be having any obs taken as there was no medical need for me to be there. I saw a visiting neurologist who suggested my brain was telling my body there was something physically wrong with me when in fact there really wasn't. After five days I was just discharged home without any treatment. A week later I was taken back into the same A&E again by ambulance but this time I couldn't tolerate light and I still had all of the other symptoms too. I didn't even know what any of the doctors or nurses looked like until around day five of my, of my admission. This admission turned into nine weeks of absolute hell. Some of the medical staff had minimal understanding of CSF leaks but it was glaringly obvious that most had absolutely none. I certainly don't expect everyone to know everything, but when you have to trust your health to someone, I do expect honesty about their knowledge or lack of it, and not to feel like I was being blagged, which in turn has caused me severe anxiety and panic attacks. During these nine weeks, more symptoms developed. I started having jaw pain, shoulder blade pain, and worst of all, the most intense and terrifying stabbing pains in my head. Sometimes it was that bad, I really did wish I could fall to sleep and never wake up, just to make it stop. Fast forward to now, 11 months after the lumbar puncture that caused the leak, I've had three blood patches. The first two patches at months one and four were completely unsuccessful, but the third one at month six was done differently and has given me several hours a day upright time. I'm extremely thankful for that, even though sadly my upright time is a struggle and filled with lots of symptoms. I've also been hooked up to a home heart monitor for the last week as my heart has been misbehaving. If you're thinking this can't happen to you, please think again. My leak was caused by a standard lumbar puncture and that day, the 22nd of March 2017, really has changed my life.